Okay, hello everyone. This is part two of our video diary on what we've done so far with the cart. Um, we got new wheels, four new wheels. We put two on. We still have the front ones to do. Um, the diamond plate was put on the side. We've done some engine updates here. We went and cleaned and charged the battery and filled all the cells. Um, the tune-up kit we got, which I think came from Amazon, I'm going to list on here in the comments where, in the description, where everything came from. We didn't put the new oil or the new gas filter on because we're afraid that might spill all over. So we're holding off on that. The spark plug we got with the tune-up kit was longer than the one that's in there now. So we're trying to replace it with what we took out. Um, we put a new air filter in. Then yesterday, well, we'll start with this. Okay, my steering wheel is pretty darn ugly and we can't paint it and I'm not taking it off. So I made a sleeve out of the same fabric for the seats just to cover it up. All right, so we had a little issue with the diamond plate. Um, it was too wide at the top, which left a gap on the side so we had to fix that. Here is what we spent most of yesterday fighting with. That bar. That light bar, OMG, was awful. We finally ended up putting the, um, the little supports under there directly into the bumper, which under the bumper you do not have very much finger space. So I had to stand lifting this up. My husband had to put his head inside and there are four screws on either side. There are four holes. There's, here's the bracket, okay? And there's one screw here, one here, one over here, one there. This bracket allows you to turn your light whichever way you want, okay? Which we've got it tight now. But the wires that came with the light, everything had the male and female parts to it to, to hook it up. This is the switch. We're picking up the um, steering wheel box today along with the roof. So once this gets put on, we'll be able to figure out where we're gonna put our switch for the light bar. But it did not, two of the, the, two of the wires on here on that were left which is bare wires so they didn't even complete it with giving you the little adapter to connect the wires so that was frustrating and i'm telling you we spent all day trying to figure out how to get that on there i told my husband what we should have done is we should have made our own little bracket mounted the light to the bracket it would have been so much easier to have this up off the bumper so you could do all your work here and not have to slam your knuckles under the uh the bumper so i was not impressed with that at all no so we have two more wheels to put on and like i said once we get the steering box we can finish this we're still looking for the spark plug so that's one thing that has to be done now this came in today. This is, a, is the new steering wheel. We bought the adapter and this is gonna slide right on there, mount right to the steering wheel column, and then this gets put on top. We were actually just making sure that all our screws fit in the holes and so on and so forth. Um, so pretty much that's our update. And then once we get the switch in place, all our diamond plate is going to get attached to the inside here. The guys did a really great job painting. I was really impressed. Um, so basically, that's where we're at. It looks like we didn't do anything, but I'll tell you what, just out running for the little fasteners and screws for this, or this came and didn't have a screw, Holy cow, I guess they think one size fits all. And I'm told this is the 90, this is a 1982 and it's that 
I won't say it, that B version. <laughs> it's, it's one of the ones that they decided to change it and then I guess they went back. So, so and, and like I said, the battery, we still have to find a way to brace that in. They had all kinds of wire. They had this across, it was just crazy. So we're thinking of just cutting this here, putting another hole in here, and then finding another one of these to attach it properly. But that was really filthy. It, that was a mess. So basically that's where we're at. Um, I will put in the description where we got everything. On some, most of the stuff we used rivets, um, but this one we may, because of the fact we could not felt the, we could not attach this, the uh, diamond plate for here because there are pieces, there are places where it has to be attached to the, the frame. So we have to attach it to the frame first before we put our diamond plate on. We thought that far ahead. And then we have to mount it here and over there. Now I think I'm gonna make some kind of um, pad that goes in here that matches the fabric from the seats. Um, I'll let you know how that works out. I have all the seats sewn. I'm just waiting for the trim that attaches it on the outside. So basically that's where we're at. Um, we have a deadline that this has to be done by Saturday because my grandkiddos are all going to be together for the first time in well over a year due to COVID. So um, this is their surprise. This is Nana's ride. I even made them little t-shirts. <laughs> so they're going to get a kick out of this. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. I mean, message us. Um, like I said, this is, this is trial and error with some of these parts that are supposed to be for each and every one. So we'll be, we'll be filming again, probably tomorrow or the next day and I'll upload it. Um, but if you have any questions.